Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media and welcome to my first EP review of 2021. And that EP is going to be Dusk by Drove. Drove is a brand new Dutch electronic trio that is actually signed with Martin Garrix's label Stamped Records. And as far as I know, this is their first project. I couldn't find anything else of theirs on SoundCloud or Spotify. But considering they signed with Stamped Records and have features like Dylan Francis on this record, I assume that they have some means or some name already in the industry, uh, but they I couldn't find exactly who the trio was. But because this is their first project, I have no real lead in, so let's just get into the project. The EP starts with a pretty basic intro track that has uh, some foley of someone getting into a car, starting a car, and kind of starting the first song places, or at least the first beat of it. And I don't understand why it's actually here. While this project has a ton of great branding around the artwork in both the singles and the whole EP, uh, there isn't really any big narrative elements throughout the project sonically, and so I don't really understand why it needed an intro track like this, or something to kind of convey some greater narrative when it doesn't feel like there really is anything happening. And even more so to that point, it's not an actual continuous cut to the first track places, the first real track places. Uh, it's, it tries to be seamless, but isn't quite. So again, I don't really understand the point of it, and to me, this intro track is meaningless. But our second track and first actual song is Places, which has a feature of Dylan Francis on it. This track and the whole project is this kind of atmospheric deep house that is great for late night driving and is really calming. If I would describe it as one individual adjective, I would actually say calming. It's a very laid back style of deep house and uses this kind of semi distorted male vocal performance, which is pretty common on stamped records and a lot more in the EDM electronic music industry right now. I don't love vocal performances like this, but I also don't hate them. They kind of work for some songs and don't for others, but in this case, it's kind of pretty neutral and throughout the entire project too. But due to the laid back nature of this track and project, the songs are pretty basic and minimalistic, and sometimes it works really well, but for places, when it gets to the second drop, it feels pretty repetitive and kind of just like it's music is just being drowned out by sound. And I'm really not sure why this track has a Dylan Francis feature in the first place. The only reason I can really think is for publicity, to get their name out, because this is their first project, Droves. Um, but can listen to the rest of the EP, the songs don't really sound any different, and I don't know where Dylan Francis's feature or his credit, production credit, really comes into play on this track. And maybe that's a good thing that I can't hear it that well, but for me, it just like, there's, I don't understand why Dylan Francis' name is even attached to the song. Holding on, the second track takes a lot of the same musical motifs that Places did, especially with that drop, the kind of minimalistic and stripped down version of a drop where they kind of build into something, but then as soon as it the chorus actually goes or the drop, uh, it kind of lays back and takes back some of the musical elements and remains pretty minimalistic. The actual sounds of the bass drop in this track sound like uh, some plastic thing or nylon hitting the top of a plastic tube. It reminds me a lot of a Blue Man Group performance actually. Lyrically, this track and pretty much the entire project has the pretty basic EDM electronic lyrics to them that talk about relationships or love at a very surface level that don't really add a lot of real substance or they're not really talking about anything really big or anything thought provoking. It's kind of just there to keep the track engaging. No calls on X Love for the feature. And again, I this is the first thing I've ever heard of X Love. I found nothing on SoundCloud or Spotify of who this person is. So I don't know why their names attached to this track either. I just, I don't know. I'm a little confused for that kind of stuff, but production wise, this is my least favorite cut. Nothing is really super engaging here. And I don't really, yeah, I wouldn't pick the song over anything else in the EP. On the other hand, the next track, Alive Again, is probably the most uh, well thought out track on anything here, I would say. There is a lot more instrumentation that's added to the drop in specific that isn't really found on the rest of the tracks. But it is ultimately the final track, High On You, that takes the cake for me as the best track on the EP. It's got a really great driving beat to it, it's something that just keeps the energy going that is pretty absent throughout the first five tracks. It still maintains that reverbed bass hits that Deep House is kind of known for, but adds a lot more range to where it actually lies on the scale and uses a lot more higher and lower sections than anything else here. This one feels like the most musical of anything on this project. It just has a lot more layers to it, even more than the last song did. I feel like this track takes a ton of inspiration from synthwave music and that whole genre. And you can definitely tell that in the verses or what would be the verses and the drop. Overall, this project has a pretty distinct deep house sound to it that is perfect for late night driving or atmospheric music 
that pairs especially well with the synthwave genre. And that is largely in part to drove kind of tearing back some of the layers of this project to keep it a lot more minimalistic and basic. This is one of the few times where I would say something that is more basic or minimalistic actually is an advantageous sound or purposeful choice. Track to track doesn't feel like a ton of variety in the entire project, but for someone with a pretty nice deep house or synth sounds palette, you will find this project highly favorable. Personally, I love the tone and atmosphere that Drove went for with this project, but I found it just too repetitive at times. Even the most unique track, High On You, could arguably sound like the rest of the tracks on this project. And with that, Bowtide Media's first EP review of 2021 will end on a six. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you actually knew who Drove was before you saw this video. They were very new to me. I just saw them on, found them on edm.com. But if you want to follow anything that I'm reviewing or writing throughout the year, you can hit subscribe, hit like if you like the video, and also follow me on albumoftheyear.org to see all my ratings even before they go up live here. But I've been Bowtide Media. I will see you in another video.